Hey guys, welcome back to Medida Academy. How has it been going? Sure, I haven't been making any videos lately. I've been a bit busy, so now we're back in business and we're making more tutorials. So today I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on the Mixer Brush 2 as promised. It's just another type of retouch using the Mixer Brush. I think the last video we did, we did the Median, but now we're doing the Mixer Brush, which is my favorite. So let's get into it. So what you want to do is duplicate this layer then duplicate again so now we've got three layers you want to turn off this upper layer just turn off with this eye thing just turn off then click the middle layer zoom in a bit so zoom in okay then i think that's fine go to future blur then gash and blur so I've learned a new trick uh, since uh, I've been away on this Gaussian Blay, how to put the proper Gaussian Blay. So how it works. So everything which is blayed out, that is it's what comes out after you have done your retouch. I don't know if you understand me. Everything which you blay out, if you blay out the pores, only the pores, it means that the pores will come back on your results. But if you blur out the blemishes like here and here, they also come out on the result of your recharge. So what you want to do is you make sure those uh, pimples or blemishes show they don't blur out. You have to make sure that they show they don't blur out. You have to make sure that they show when you put your cash blur so that on the results they won't appear. Anything you which you leave not blurred out, it won't show on your retouch end result so you want to be careful so let's go to zero you just want to blur out the poles you can you can check out here okay oh, that's too much okay i think that's fine you can still see the blemishes but the poles are now blurred out let's press okay okay so you want to turn up turn on the the upper layer the background copy too just turn it on uh go to image apply then select the middle layer then this option you press subtract that's the frequency separation you're subtracting the uh texture layer from the color layer so when you see subtract that's the frequency separation you've separated so you can see this gray layer you can see this is the texture which will appear on your end result picture this is the texture this gray one okay so if you haven't watched my first tutorial on uh, frequency separation we have to set these values uh, true and 120 they are permanent when you set them once uh, they won't uh, clear up they will be just like this for good so 2 and 120 just set them like that then press ok then you go on the blending modes yeah and choose linear light so we are now all set to start using the mixer brush okay uh, my mixer brush is over here it's like this this one with the drop icon i think for the windows it's usually on the brush like somewhere here but mine is on the other tools okay so what you want to do first uh, i can copy the settings as they are everything you can just screenshot it or somehow just copy it as it is it is it just works even here you just click it just as, just as it is just copy it like that it works trust me it just works okay so uh in the mixer brush uh it takes a little more time than compared to the median but the mixer brush gives out better results than median now, i hope you understand me so let's do this let's do this okay so the whole point of the mixer brush is like blending in blending in colors like blending in the the highlights to the darker areas you just need to blend them so what i do uh like this highlighted place i just use a bigger brush then just go back and forth back and forth 
back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. As you can see, it's now blended. We have blended the highlighted area. So you don't want to go all the way like this, like this, this. It will be really, really messy. So you want to do it with the back and forth movement like this, just like this, just slow like that. Then go to the darker area. Just do the same thing. You see, go to this area. Just do the same thing. Go to this area. Just do the same thing. So we are blending in. We are blending in the lighter areas and the darker areas. Just like this. Simple. Just back and forth, back and forth. So you you do that so that you keep the transaction of the face without messing up the colors like this. You see, they're now messed up. Let's go here. As you can see, the light, the light, the lighting is going a bit down on a on a straight line. So you just do this, just do this, just do this. Okay, Let's see, it's shaping out. Do this back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Then on the sides, make your brush a little bit small. Then back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Here, just go like this. So like this sort of like you're painting you know saying? like coloring yeah let's say coloring like you're coloring a coloring book that's what you do okay so same as we did did you see the part with the highlights of what we did we're gonna do the same thing just let's do a bigger brush i think this is fine you just do this back and forth 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 you see we are already getting good results as you can see it's, it's coming up really nice okay let's just do this back and forth simple it's time consuming but it gives out the results it gets the job done trust me this is how Many pro photographers are doing it these days. It does get the job done. So it's just back and forth, back and forth. The good thing about the mixer brush too also, it's like when you have like those dark areas and you want to light them up, you just take, you just move your brush from the lighter area to the darker area. As you can see, it's lighting it up. So it's just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Just, just like you're painting. So the more you do it, you, you, you get used to it. And the more you get used to the mixer brush too, uh, the lesser you want to use uh, the median type of retouch or the gush and glare one. Oh, you're getting really good results here. Want to see? Want to see? They're getting really good results. It's, it's very, very even. There are no corners, no what. Uh, because if you check out the median type of retouch, it leaves out uh, a bit of corners on your on your picture, on your skin. I mean, okay. Let's go on the chest, which is a big brush, brush. So you wanna make sure you don't paint like over the lines like this. Yeah, that would be bad. You don't paint over the lines. Okay. Let's do this. Check out this black part. It's like going. the shadow you don't have to like make it go all the way you still need a shadow for definition definition of the picture hmm. it's doing justice it's doing justice it's coming out really nice okay 
I'll just check out those black knuckles. We can do this. Let me show you. Just start from the lighter area going up. You're removing the dark knuckles. Just like that. Just like that. So it's just back and forth. Just learn to do back and forth. Don't paint like you're using the median tool. Like I told you on the median tool when you're using the mixer brush. They are totally different. The mixer brush is really powerful. So you have to be really, really careful. Don't paint over the lines. You do do a messy job. To do a messy job, I think. Wow, we, we, we are getting the results. We are getting the results. Let's keep on working on this one. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Here we are getting the results that we want. Let's remove this dark spots. Dark spots on the on the on the on the nickels. So literally what the mixer brush does is just blends in colors and does a really good job to it. Please do check these settings, these mixer brush settings to get the job done. I think we are done with our mixer brush. Uh we'll just have to duplicate this layer to make our picture a bit sharp. Just like that. It's not big, as you can see, the poles are here. There are no blemishes. We didn't do, we didn't remove the blemishes uh, with the healing brush. We just did a retouch of the blemishes because we chose the right Gaussian. The blemishes didn't show in the end result, as I told you. So, point to take today when you're putting your first Gaussian blade, whatever you blade out. That's what comes out at the end result. Whatever you leave not bled out, it won't come out on your end result. So the blemishes, you must not bled them out. You must only bled out the the the, the pores, like the one on the nose. Uh, bled them out. That's how you pick the right uh, Gaussian blade for, for the first stage. Okay, let's just fix up the hair. Uh, we already did our retouch. Let me just match these layers. I should have did this on the start, but I'm just going to do them now. Okay, guys, I think we did justice on this picture. I just duplicate the layer, make it be sharp. Okay, so let me just match these layers and just fix up the hair a bit because it's a bit messy. You don't want your hair looking like this. So, what you do is just use this portilling brush on those uh, loose hair. If you don't have direction, just Play around with the healing brush. It's a bit time consuming, but it's also worth it. You don't want stray hair everywhere. If you have a hairdresser in your studio, uh, guys, you're lucky. Ha, this is hard work. This is hard work. You're just following those tray hairs and you just uh, use this portilling brush over them. It will work. All this. I was able to do this before the retouch, but nah. But you can see that the result of the median. Um, you can see that the result of the mixer brush are better than the result of the median. Your skin is flawless. Uh, your your textures just blended in a really nice way, guys. Please just try out this uh this mixer brush. Uh, 
technique uh, send me your pictures that you have done using this tutorial i would really love to see some of your work thank you for watching please just subscribe and like to my youtube channel i'll be uploading more videos this week uh people have been asking how to do a uh, proper skin tone uh, how to do um, this uh this motion blur effect that i did on some of my pictures on instagram and my handle to my instagram is uh will made it photography you can just check my some of my work on there i'll put the link to my on my description the link to my instagram channel so thank you till we meet again